U.S. President Donald Trump signed an executive order directing government agencies to review their use of the H-1B visa program, which enables U.S. companies to hire temporary foreign workers. Now, critics say the program has been used to hire cheaper labor from abroad at the expense of the American workforce. Uh, but respondents uh, say it is a necessary measure to fill high-tech jobs uh, that are crucial to the American economy. Here's VOA's Larry Zahok. Under Trump's new order, government agencies are required to review their procurement practices and ensure that exceptions to the Buy American rules are not abused. With this order, I'm directing every single agency in our government to strictly uphold our Buy American laws, to minimize the use of waivers, and to maximize Made in America content in all federal Projects. Trump told an audience in a tool-making factory in Wisconsin that widespread abuse of the U.S. immigration system enables employers to replace American workers of all backgrounds with cheaper labor brought in from other countries. American workers have long called for reforms to end these visa abuses, and today their calls are being answered for the first time. That includes taking the first steps to set in motion a long overdue reform of H-1B visas. H-1B visas are designed to help employers bring in foreign workers with skills that are scarce in the United States. The intent is good, political science professor Ronil Hira told VOA. The idea is that you're filling skills gaps. So when there are shortages of American workers um, and you're going to bring in a very specialized a foreign worker to fill those gaps. It is supposed to be a temporary measure, but the program has not been used to bring only the best and most talented workers, says Hira. It's become a way for employers to bring in cheaper indentured workers as opposed to filling those skills gaps. And so as a result, the program is oversubscribed and it's actually undercutting Americans. So in this case, Trump is absolutely right. Hira says a stricter enforcement of the rules could free up a number of these temporary visas for companies that really need specialists with rare skills. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.